Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley Nicole Hot, and today I'm going to show you what I'm having for lunch, just so you can kind of get an idea of what you can have for lunch that is healthy and it doesn't take a lot of time at all. I'm really one for quick and easy stuff. I hate preparing things that take hours. Um, I really am a big fan of the frozen stuff, and they do have healthy alternatives out there. So here's one of them. I'm going to have salmon for lunch. I'm going to have salmon and some asparagus and probably a sweet potato. So this is the kind of salmon that I bought. I don't think you can really see it, but now you can. It's blackened salmon, C. Rythe and Company, and it is boneless, skinless, and ready to cook, and it's gluten-free. So this is, I think, it is 280 calories for one filet, and all you have to do is you can either stick it in your fridge for 8 to 10 hours, which I don't know about you, but I ain't got time for that. So I am doing the other way, which is put it in water for 30 minutes. So this is what it looks like when it comes out. It's pretty big, so and it's pretty thick too, so that's what it looks like, and it's seasoned. So all you have to do is just grab a bowl and put it in water. Okay, so this is my bowl. I'm going to fill it up with water, cold water. Stick my filet in. So then now it is in the bowl with the water. And then honestly, I just put something on top of it to keep it down in there. You can use like a can of green beans or whatever you want to use. So we're going to check back in 30 minutes and I'm going to cook it and show you how easy it is to put together a healthy meal for lunch. Alright, so it's been 30 minutes. I have my salmon on a skillet and surprisingly it is really thawed out. I'm going to turn this up to probably... Honestly, I turned mine all the way up on high, so I let it heat up, and then I'll turn it back down so it doesn't burn. And then I decided I wanted to have broccoli, so all you do for this is you just stick it in the microwave for four and a half to seven minutes. This is a super powerful microwave, so I only have to do it for probably like five minutes. And then... Yesterday I went out for lunch and I got a sweet potato and I only ate half of it So I have that left over in the fridge. Here's the remaining of my sweet potato from the restaurant um, I actually just got it plain. I didn't get any butter any marshmallows even though that would have been delicious on it and If you don't have a leftover sweet potato, you can go buy one They sell them like this or you can buy them unwrapped with these ones all you have to do is just put it in the microwave for eight minutes and it says it's tripled washed. Triple washed. Triple washed? Washed? I don't know how people say it. But anyways, so you could always just do that. If you're going to do that, I would go ahead and start your sweet potato because that's going to take longer than the fish. So as that's heating up, I am going to get everything else ready. Okay, so I flipped my salmon over and this is what it looks like. And in the meantime, I'm also cooking my steamer. All you have to do is put it in the microwave. And I'm gonna cook mine for like five minutes. So that's cooking, that's cooking. And all we have to do is heat that up. And we're ready to go. All right, so here we have it, the end product. Broccoli, sweet potato. I added some cinnamon and trivia on it. And there's my blackened salmon. And I would guess the total calories would be around 400 and some. Um, I have my protein, my fat, my vegetables, my carbs, uh, my complex carb. Make sure you're not eating simple carbs. Um, so that's about it. And it took me probably, besides the 30 minutes of defrosting, it probably took me about like 15 minutes to get together, which isn't bad. Um, so there's a quick, easy meal, or you could prepare this and put it in a Ziploc bag or, um, a little Tupperware container and then just bring it to work and it's already pre-cooked and you just heat it up and eat it. Have a good day, guys. Mmm. Eat your veggies.